was diagnosed bipolar at the age of 18. I never knew my real father, but my mother's first husband took me under his wing. But when they divorced, when I was four, he moved to Florida and I never got to see him. For a while after the divorce, my mom and I had a hard time. We had very little food and even less money. When I was six, my mom met my stepdad. He was a great provider and had a son around my own age. They got married when I was eight, and I have to admit I was very happy. Things went well for a while, until when I was ten, my dad remarried, and she convinced him two years later that because I was not his blood, I didn't deserve child support. When faced with the ultimatum, pay or don't see, he chose to leave. I didn't see him again for seven years. However, when I was 13, my stepdad adopted me. We became the happiest family. I can honestly say that for four years, I had the best life any kid could ever ask for. But at 16, I started to develop habits and attitudes that were not like normal teenagers. For three years, from 16 to 19, I was horrible. I hated everyone and myself. I ran wild, quit taking my medications. I had horrible spending habits, a string of internet relationships, very few of which lasted, and if they did, nothing good came of them. Towards the end of 09, I started taking my medications again. Shortly thereafter, I met my boyfriend. He and I have now been together for five months. We're very happy together and things are starting to look up. I've been trying to stay on my meds and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. But I know that if I don't stay on them, things will fall apart at any moment. I am the ball part of it. That's my life and that's me. I'm not always so depressed or reminisce about the past. I have a pretty good life now and I like to dwell on that and the fact that I am happy. Thank you.